the staging lanes. I managed to forget my GoPro, but Coda's gonna get video from outside, so. Yeah, um, it's actually pretty busy today. So I should should still be able to get a few runs in. We'll see how this goes. Uh, my first couple of runs, I'm probably only gonna make a eighth mile pass, maybe a thousand foot and then let out and uh, go from there. I gotta get my short track right before I can even worry about running it out of the back. So we'll see how it goes. first run was garbage it spun really bad and uh didn't make any boost because i had a boost couple to loose so i fixed that came back up and uh the staging lanes are packed but uh yeah i'm coming up to make my second run we'll see what it does all right well i'm currently driving to work but i did not end this video off very well um so i'm just gonna make a little ending to it here so i went back up to make my second run right after i cut the camera off on that last one the cars started moving up and i started my car and tried to pull it out of park and it was very hard to pull out of park um so i shut it back off i was able to to get it out of park and um there was something wrong with the transmission um so i didn't make a run i just drove it back around to the trailer i loaded it up but while I was driving around to the trailer out of nowhere, it started making a loud like click noise. Um, so after the track, I pulled the transmission back out and uh, somehow my parking pole arm rod got messed up and uh, the parking brake was partially on um, and the, the parking brake arm was broken. So, there was that, and then my forward drum clutches were burnt up again. Um, all the other clutches looked great. Uh, the bands looked great, but that one drum was burnt up, um, and the, uh, the spring inside of it, I can't remember what they're called, it's like a flat spring that's curved. Um, I can't think of the name of it right this second, but it was broke. Um, and the piston was stuck all the way up. It's just a disaster. So... I uh, I have the transmission pulled apart right now. I pulled the valve body off. I've never pulled the valve body off of this C4 before. So I pulled the valve body off, pulled it all apart. It was nasty, and that could have probably been part of my problem, and that's my fault. I uh, When the drum broke the first time, it put a little bit of metal down in the pan, but nothing crazy. Um, and I, I checked everywhere. I didn't see anything, any metal anywhere else besides just a couple of little pieces laying in the pan. Um, but I'm thinking a little sliver of metal got inside the valve body and uh, was was messing something up to the forward drum, making it stay applied just a tiny little bit or, uh, or something like that. Um, on top of that, one of the seals on the piston is bad now for the forward drum, so I've got to replace that. So I've got some work to do to it. Um, and then it didn't spin. After going back and watching Dakota's video... Um, if you slow the video down, uh, you will see the front end starts to shake real bad, like the car, like it was in a wheel hop. And that's why I thought it spun. It wasn't spinning. That was the forward drum slipping. Um, so I've got to fix that. It's not going to be real expensive. I've already uh, looked up all the parts and stuff that I need. It's, it's not real expensive. Um, I've cleaned the valve body out. I took the entire transmission apart and cleaned the whole transmission out. I took everything out of it. Um, and I'm resetting the bands and everything. And, uh, yeah, so I, I never made a second run. Uh, the car is currently down right now with the transmission out of it. It's very frustrating, but it's not the end of the world because it's not real expensive to fix. Um, I apologize. I didn't end the video off a little bit better. The, uh, the car only made, um, 
about 13 pounds most of the run. Right at the very end of the run when I let off, it was starting to make right around 16. But uh, I just put the intercooler on the car and I left the V-band, because the turbo's got a V-band on it. I left the V-band loose on accident, so it was just bleeding a bunch of air. Um, so that's my fault. The first run could have probably been a little bit better, but to be honest, had the V-band had been hooked up and the car made more boost, I would have probably just completely grenaded the transmission. So it is what it is. Car didn't do too bad. Um, it's funny. Uh, on Facebook, two years ago, I ran like an 11.7 at 121 or something like that. And uh, that was a personal best for me two years ago. Um, with a slipping transmission and letting off very early. Um, and pedaling it twice off the line because I thought it was spinning. I ran an 11.1 at 110. Uh, so the car's come a long way in two years. It is significantly faster than it used to be. Um, and that that 11 that 11 seven uh, two years ago was probably on 16, 17, 18 pounds all the way down the track. So I've gotten the car dialed in quite a bit more than it used to be. Um, I've come a long way with the setup, considering I'm really using a lot of the same parts. The turbos changed, the transmissions changed, um, but really I've just I've made stuff right. I've put good injectors in it. Um, I've learned to tune. That's the biggest thing. Um, so hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, I make them for me for the future to watch, but I make them for you guys too. So I, I hope you guys really enjoy them. I'm sorry. The production quality has been a little low on them here lately. I've I've got to step my game up. I keep forgetting my GoPro, and you know it's just it is what it is. I've got I've got three kids, a wife, a full time job, and racing is just a hobby. So you know my my car stays in the trailer now, which is at the job site. And when I get off work at 5:30, 6 o'clock at night, I'm not thinking about grabbing my camera when I go out there to work on my car for 45 minutes uh, just to try to get stuff done to it so I apologize for that I'm gonna try to get better but I'm not gonna guarantee anything um, but I really do I hope you guys enjoy this video these videos um, my racing videos probably get more views than any of them so um, you know we'll uh, we'll continue to to make videos where we can, post them when we can. I'd, I'd like to try to get a little bit more regular with it, but I just, I don't have enough content to post videos every other day or every day or anything like that. They'd be very boring videos. Um, but I, I, uh, I hope you guys stick around and uh, stop by the, the wheelsupracing.org and grab yourself a t-shirt or a hoodie or a beanie or a koozie or a lanyard or a window banner or there's all sorts of stuff on there guys so uh hop on over to the website and uh and check it out and uh i will catch you guys in the next one